So proud of you, dude. Did you, did you see me on the <laughs> Come on, let's go! Let's go! I saw like I was looking down, but then I saw like you and Josh going like, oh, nah, fuck, fuck that. Man. Hey, he's used to fucking, he got fucked right now. <laughs> I get that a lot, yeah. They go, he looks like the clown from Spawn, and I was like, the violator, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a real ass podcast shirt that's uh, Lewis is Spawn and me as really. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I've been do I've been doing that one for a while, dude. How's your How's your fest been? It's been incredible, buddy. Fuck yeah, mine yeah, too. Yeah, I'm a little spent. Yeah, but. it is. It is very warm. It's because it's been sitting against my fat thigh. <laughs> uh, sign my name. Yeah, anywhere you like. Put your number in there. Zach, you want to hop on? Yeah, sure. Yay. Yeah, yeah. You can take this one. I gotta walk around. Just yeah, Hormos, do your thing. thing. It's good yeah, seeing you, bro. Good to see you, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Pleasure. Fuck yeah. Where are you on me, guys? Right there. You got it. Thanks, Donna. Yep. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, Zach, it's going. What's up, dude? Miko, man. Hell yeah. Nice to see everybody. So much fun last night good at the fucking you? roast. Nice to see you. Okay, I know you'll get this reference. Like I said earlier, huge fan, Spook Show. I have uh, I have constant horror tattoos all over my body. Fucking uh, somebody called you the Violator when you were on stage last night. They I get that a lot. Yeah, they go. He looks like the clown from Spawn. And I was like the Violator, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a, a real ass podcast shirt that's uh, Lewis is Spawn and me. As really? Well. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I've been do I've been doing that one for a while. Dude, how's your how's your fest been? It's been incredible, buddy. Fuck yeah. Mine yeah, too. Yeah, I'm a little spent. Yeah, but, me uh, too. Sunday night's a slow night. You gotta get that third wind. <laughs> <laughs> Should kick in around five, six. What would you say your craziest thing so far has been? I have both both naked roasts for a while, but last night was the best. She's yeah. a beast, right? Uh, yeah, and she's a great jo joke Yay. writer, too. Uh, uh, really. <laughs> 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 I love you, you so much. Uh, no, I'm so so fucking proud of you. You did so good. I really meant what I said. Uh, you, I watched a, a star making performance. I couldn't have been more proud of you. Yeah, I told Thank her you. star is born. You said that afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You did say that. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. I didn't hear that at all. I was just sitting there, like, your, your ears are my heart shit. was like <laughs> beating really loud, so it was kind of like hard to hear my jokes. But I was starting to feel more confident. And I felt bad because there was this guy just like eye level with my bush the entire time. <laughs> And I'm you like, did so good, though. I was so impressed. <laughs> yeah, I was. Like, I was sitting in I the back watching, them. and I was like, "That's my fucking girl!" Oh, it made me so happy. What cracked me up is all my friends managed to find the prime fucking spots, and they were like up top and <laughs> elevated. They were sitting there like, "Oh, dude!" I was standing behind the camera at one point, trying to get a look at Evan Stone's dick, honestly. But like, it was like. It was big, but like it was big. So I think it's one of those things. It's like it's a grower once and a it shower. Goes, it's going. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it, it like gets the little dinosaurs that you throw in, the little pills yeah. you throw in the water. Yeah, and it a, gets substantial. Yeah, Dude, I couldn't see it, but she goes, it was five inches soft. And I was like, fuck, he's got me beat. Like, yeah. I, it looked five inches. How how many staples did you get last night? How many did you end up with? I tried counting. I think I was around 40. Fuck yeah. How much money? I did good. Did you lose blood? Um, Yeah, my forehead a little and my arm bled a lot last night because I took a lot in the one arm. How is the rat trap? Is that a magic trick or is that? Is oh no, that's real. There's, oh, there's oh, not a real. How do you know where to get like stapled so like you don't hit like a vein or anything? Well, anywhere. it doesn't go deep enough for a vein. It doesn't. Uh, I just kind of learned it after a few years. Okay. I um. I like how you guys answered and you've never been stapled. <laughs> yeah. No, no, dude. I used to I used to wrestle when I was 22, 23. So I've taken quite a few staples to my face. Yeah, a lot of my friends uh, are uh, <laughs> sideshow people, and they've kind of oh, okay. walked me through a bunch of shit. Um, nice. I've done stand up at like the Coney Island sideshow, mm. um, so they kind of let me in on some stunt stuff, and I've done shows where it's stand up and freak show stuff. How is that? I don't know. Really fun. Is it? Yeah. I assume people. Would, I I used to do a bunch of burlesque and stand up shows, and people just wanted to see the burlesque. Yeah, the doing stand up and burlesque shows sucks dick. But stand up and sideshow is cool. Yeah, you got to pace it out right. Yeah. The way I like to do it is have um, a sideshow guy host it. And then uh, alternate. Oh yeah, back and, and that forth. way he yeah, and then that way he can kind of set the pace. And also, anybody that's just there for sideshow knows sideshow's coming, so they don't become assholes yeah, yeah, while yeah. they're waiting. Fuck yeah, it. as opposed to like burlesque, where it's just a bunch of ladies who are mad that you're on stage. Yeah, and a lot of them look like me. Uh, we look very similar, and it's just like all right. But uh, no, it's uh, I've been doing freak show stuff. Uh, I came up with a group 
uh, called the uh, New York City Zombie Crawl, and we do uh, we used to buy yearly zombie crawl like bar crawls, and uh, they would do suspension acts where people would hang from hooks from the ceiling, uh, and a lot of my friends did that. So uh, I've just always been used to people hurting themselves. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Uh, so have you have you explored much of Vegas? Uh, no, I was here about a month ago, and yeah, I did shows. With Lewis, and then, uh, right? Yeah, I was here with Lewis and Aaronberg. And then I've been here, but I haven't uh, explored much. I've just been here, really. Have you seen that uh, heart attack grill? She got on there, and it was like 340, and she's like, I think I can gain 10 pounds to get that 350. Here's the thing. I'm, I would be so upset looking at the number yeah. that I wouldn't want to eat anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it, it's, uh, it's such a fucking conundrum for me. I was excited for a free meal. <laughs> no, I, I, it would make me too sad. And then, like, I feel like that's what they're making on, though, is that you get the up there the like, night, you and did it, and you're like, I'm going on a diet. So apparently yeah. I drank, like, 20 pounds worth of beer because I was, <laughs> like, 373 yeah. at the night, at the end of the night. Hell but yeah. also, before, I don't think I walked all the way up on the scale. Okay. Could be part of it. Dude, second floor. But, like, yeah, we should go to Heart of Craig <laughs> tomorrow. There's a bar called The Nerd. I actually went there last. Did month you go week. all the way to the, to back? the hentai room? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, Chris I from Brooklyn was like, "What the, the fuck?" Yeah, no, that was a cool joint. We went and watched uh, the last UFC there. Oh hell yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we went. Uh, the there was a guy running an open mic there, Adam Domingos, and he was like, "You have to see the hentai room." So we went back there, and I was just like, "This is the fucking coolest thing ever." And I'm yeah, mad that I part. missed that, but I wanted to come back up here. I get it. Fucking, I was just, I was, I was drunk as shit at the point, at that point. So I was like, wherever you want to take me, I'm willing to go. Yeah, I was tight seeing all that shit. This is the tight, the the place, man. Like three, three levels. How they had the ring out there with everybody cheering. That shit was yeah. so oh, dope. and we recorded a lot of the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you for putting that on the. Like, I was so paranoid I was gonna drop. You were gonna it drop off the, the GoPro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got and I didn't want to like be the one. It's like Hector, I broke your GoPro. <laughs> Zach. I just spaced what I was going to ask you. Sorry, <laughs> no worries, it's Doc. Sunday. I'm trying to get the third one myself. Uh, but anything, any closing words? I'm sure you want to get out of here in a second. I don't know, whatever. You're, uh, no, just this fucking this is comedy Christmas, man. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you. Let me fanboy out for a second. So you did creatures for Spook Show, and then you did monkey specifically. Yeah, I did monkey month. Yeah, yeah, monkey month. What are you? What are you doing next? Uh, the next theme thing I want to do, so Christmas is coming. I'll probably do a Christmas theme. Uh, I do want to do more dog movies because that is my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. And I've been tossing around maybe, um, well, I do Black History Month every year. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> and I kind of want to do maybe uh, like all uh, Italian stuff. Have you thought about doing like a Pride Month thing? Where, like, Nightmare yeah. 2, stuff like that? Yeah, I, I have thought about... There's a one I really want to do called... Um, have you heard of Stranger by the Lake? Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So Stranger by the Lake is, like, a... Almost uh, piece by piece, uh, very Alfred Hitchcock, like, guy witnesses a murder. Okay. Isn't really sure what he saw, but the whole thing takes place at a lake that's a cruising spot for gay dudes. So it's a Phil Collins song? Well, it's literally like, it'll be like, I wonder who murdered this guy. And then all of a sudden, Uh, it just smash cuts to like a dude coming. Like (laughs) an ejaculating penis onto a man's face. And be like, all right, let's get back to this murder. (laughs) It's like, it's, it's... Have you seen there's a there's a French film that is pretty much just a gay porn, but it's also a murder mystery the whole time. I don't know what I, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't think of the fucking name. I will find it and send it to yeah, you. Thank you. But it's a it's a full on murder mystery who done it, and then they just fuck a bunch of times throughout it. Two yeah. dudes. That's just perfect. Keep fucking. Right. That's perfect. <laughs> so it wasn't a murder mystery, but like a hangout. Like my best friend is a comic named David Case. Oh, shout out David Case. Lo- you would David love Kays. him. David Case. But um, he loves horror movies, and like me and him can't go to the theaters together because we keep getting in trouble for laughing and shit. <laughs> At the most inappropriate times, I accidentally took him to see Rocket Man because I didn't know it was a musical. I thought it was just could be a biopic, but I love musicals, so I'm like, I'm okay with this. But um, so me and him are like looking for shit to watch at his house, and we watched this like it was a five minute movie trailer for a foreign film called The Beast, and it's just a French girl running through the forest. Well, a giant bear is chasing her with a huge ass erection. Oh yeah, I'm in on and, that. Like, yeah, I'd watch that. Dude, That's like that enough mom. was like enough to masturbate to because as she's running, yeah. like pieces of her dress, like she's wearing a fucking como se dice, um, you know those dresses that Marie Antoinette went, wore? No. It was like oh the ball gown that like like comes you know out? the corsets like and shit, yeah, Victorian like, yeah, like, kind of shit. 
but um she's wearing that and she's running and she has like the mole and the powdered wig and she's like ah! and she's running and they badly edited out the bear's erection which was just a man in a bear suit Sick. but you'd like it was just a black bar covering it and then the penis would like fall out of the black bar so you'd get to see like half of it to three quarters of it at a time while she's running and like she's in the forest and she keeps getting like piece of her clothes like snagged and she's like but it was just five minutes of that. It was like one of the most amazing things That's I've sick. seen. That's I will definitely watch that. No, I'm definitely going to watch it when I have more money. I'm going to rent that shit. Quick but question. I'd recommend that. Hellraiser 4, best Hellraiser or Hellraiser in space? How do you feel about it? I like Hellraiser 2. See, I like 2 too. I like 4 because it gets the whole mythology. But 2 is great. And I feel like they could have took Christy Cotton to a further level. This has just turned into like my weird questions for Zach. I, I, love it. I love it. I love it, man. Uh, what else was I going to ask? Did you offer to suck Jason Ellis's dick yesterday? Was that yeah, you? he wound up cock slapping me yesterday. Okay. <laughs> they don't fucking wait to it. That's a good compromise with his wife. Yeah, it's I like, think, hey, you know what? I think everybody left that situation happy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know he was packing such a piece. Yeah. I'm actually mad I didn't get to see it. Yeah, I showed him mine. I should have asked him to show me his. I mean, nice. you could find him today. <laughs> Oh, so it's like, can I just see your penis real quick? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's fucking like decent. It yeah, was a it was, hearty it was piece. Yeah. yeah. Like, it wasn't even necessarily, like, long, but if you, it would displace a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you float tested it. <laughs> a lot of saliva. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, yeah, you could, like, dip it in a glass of water, and I think the, the, all the water would come out the glass. That's awesome. It was, a ni- it was real nice. It's real yeah. dense. Yeah, it was a dense, it was a dense <laughs> piece. Uh, <laughs> you're here till tomorrow, I assume? I'm actually leaving Tuesday. I'm taking tomorrow to chill. Fuck yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, I don't want to go to flag stuff. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be fun. Dude, thank you for doing this. Uh, oh, absolutely. My pleasure, man. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I know this is going to sound weird, but thank you for being so nice to me, too. Like, absolutely. I'm very nervous. Like You did such a good job. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, you're like, a fucking I killer. Was, thank you. But, like, also, I have low self-esteem. <laughs> That's why you're a killer. Yeah, it all comes from a place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best part is I came up to her, I go, hey, are you nervous? And she goes, I'm not nervous about being naked. I'm nervous that my jokes aren't going to hit. And I was like, that's the fucking attitude. Yeah, that's have. way more important. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've taken off my clothes for many of people. Just stop. <laughs> However many were in the room last night. Well, you get to up your number now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was all at once. You did you did a Costco bulk yeah. nakedness. It's cool. It was, it was a smash and grab. Yeah, I'm super proud of you. Yeah. yeah. I, no, I am glad that I decided to hide the notes underneath my tent. Yeah. That was very funny. I somebody about one year somebody pulled him out of their badge, right? Alice Clamp. It was Alice Clamp. Yeah, and she was, it was a Ziploc bag. Yeah, right? she put him in a Ziploc bag and folded him up and put him up her puss. I told her nice. I told her if it goes to a joke off, she should pull the joke out of her ass. Like just be like, <laughs> I got one more. Like Yeah, like Evan leveled no, that's where me Evan right pulled before his jokes from. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. He I told me he didn't prepare at all, and I'm sitting there holding my notes like a loser, and I'm like, okay. Dude, I got a lot of respect for him for, for his previous career, and the, the amount we got to hang out, he seems fucking cool. And apparently he's he's dating or married to Katie Morgan, which I have a lot of love for her, too. But when certain points during that roast, I was like, oh, this is a massacre. Like, I started feeling bad for him, where I was like, I don't think he realizes where he's at. He didn't get it. It's yeah. okay. It happens. Let me tell you a story about the old dog. But he you was were, on something, right? <laughs> you were fucking great for the fact that that first roast, uh, uh, Tanner and Randall, uh, Randall got real like fuck you guys this is racist and then everybody started booing and you're like chill the fuck out this yeah, is intense yeah. it's hard for people to do you guys are doing this wrong yeah you know you just gotta make sure you run the room yeah yeah you did a great job and that's my show I've been doing it every skank fest so it means a lot to me and your roast but at the for beginning the record, were great you did meet all your goals I felt safe comfortable like I thank didn't you. yeah so thank you so yeah, dude. All Definitely. all your roasts at the beginning were fucking top notch. Uh, especially the Eddie B thing. That fucking. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love it. Yeah, man. I appreciate all this shit. Everything, man. Skankfest. This is a crazy ass experience. Yeah, this is so, so much fucking me. fun. Yeah, hopefully, two a year next. Starting two a year next year. Hopefully. Yeah. You're my South and New York, right? Yeah, West, and, West and East. West and East, that's the way to fucking here. do it. No? Yeah, dude. Like, he might so, have had fun, but, like, yeah, he would have gotten anxious. But, who? like, Case. Yeah, Case. Was but, like, the first person when I saw I got a guest pass, and I'm like, I'm bringing Hector. Oh, yeah. So, let me ask you this. Out of doing comedy 
working for Trauma, uh, both acting and directing and writing and everything, and uh, wrestling, doing the podcast. Where? What's your favorite? Uh, comedy, because I get to meet everybody. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's a very diplomatic, perfect answer. And it's true. Like, That's fucking awesome. I'm like, I still suck at that. Like, I was better at it when I was hitchhiking, but like... <laughs> no, I yeah, like she hitchhiked a lot when I first met her. She was like, I was just in Vegas for a month. I was like, that's cool. She goes, I hitchhiked there. I was like, that's even better. She was like, I met so many cool people. Yeah, I spent a month in Vegas and then I went to LA for a month and then I went to Orange County. But so, I got to experience all the scenes. She's the reason I know LA and Orange County aren't the same place. Yeah, I love Orange County. The scene's really supportive and so is Vegas. Like, I think LA could eat a hot bag of dicks, but that's my personal opinion. <laughs> What's the next movie you're working on? Uh, I have four movies coming out this year. Uh, the Secret of Cuck Island, which uh, just started screening. Uh, I've got uh, another movie in the can called Curse of the Were Deer. Uh, self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just shot a segment for an anthology film called Bring on the Damned. Uh, where I play a gay serial killer called The Bottom Butcher. Fuck yeah. And then I've got another movie coming out uh, that's a surprise, but it's uh, uh, shot on film, and it's the first thing I've ever been in shot on a uh, real film. Like like 35 millimeter? Fuck yeah, yeah, very, very And exciting. it's a surprise? Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, that one's still uh, getting put together, but uh, there's some cool people in it, and okay. I shot a scene for it uh, a few months ago. Not to be... Uh, that dude, but if you ever need a guy with bad tattoos that isn't afraid to take his shirt off and looks like white trash for an extra or anything, let me know. Uh, hey, you know, you wouldn't believe how hard those are to find around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've ran into 18 people that look just like me. Do you know John? Yeah. Uh, John, when he first came to Phoenix, I was, I'd been on the road for like two months pretty much straight religiously, so I wasn't doing open mics. And when I got back, I went to this open mic to hang out with people, and he comes up to me. He goes, "You must be Rob." And I go, "Yeah, yeah what's up?" He goes, "You know how many people thought I was you?" And now <laughs> at Skankfest, it's the opposite. Well, like I walk up, people go, "John Carter." I go, "Close." It gets funnier because there's a third one in the mix, Mike Enders, and there's just three bald motherfuckers with beards who are hilarious. <laughs> I feel like I was the originator, but so use me or John in the movie, but me, he's got plenty of work. And Absolutely, I would love to be in anything with you. Absolutely. I'm totally fanboying out. Hopefully he edits this so it doesn't look like I'm sucking his dick so much. But he's fan, dude. Appreciate and it, man. I'm sorry if this makes me a cunt, but like I didn't know like a, like I don't know a lot of people and like I don't listen. Like I started listening to the podcast like for sure once I like got in. But like I like to listen to music because like I'm always like at open mics and shit and like it's like okay, it's like I love listening to funny shit, but like I wanna be able to pay attention and I just wanna zone out. So, like, I didn't know who a lot of people were, but, like, when you, like, friend requested me, I'm like, oh, my God, this is so cool. And, like, you did a little bit of research, but I'm like, okay, it's like, no, if I look up these guys too much, I'm going to fucking freak the fuck out. But, like, I am going to probably just, like, take notes about you, not to be weird, but I do that about people. <laughs> And, like, I do that for the roast, too. Like, I'll Facebook stalk people. I'll hit up spouses and shit. It's all like, can you tell me their deepest fear? (laughs) So, she's probably going to be too shy to do this. Uh, I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds. Can you sign her yearbook? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Dude, she did. She came to a comedy festival we did in Flagstaff one time. And she just brought her own book to sign. So she was like, they have an actual yearbook. Every and I year like, yeah. I brought a notebook and I told everybody, it's like, you can draw something, write something and sign your name. And like, it actually makes me feel really good because a lot of people write really nice things and sweet things in there. And I have like no pressure, four though. notebooks. You don't have to like write anything yeah. like nice or sweet. But the fact that people like took the time to do it and then like people were like, we enjoyed your set. But like when I'm having a really bad day, like I look at those things and it means the world to me. I'll say Leo. Fuck you. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. I feel like we're keeping you here. No, no, not at all. I'm happy. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And also, I really have to pee. <laughs> yeah, I want to go have a smoke. Yeah, we'll the vape isn't smoke. really doing the job it's supposed to. <laughs> One of the bathrooms is broken, right? I think so. Uh, but it also